This video will cover the topic, factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1, problem type 1. Problem type 1 covers quadratics whose leading coefficients are greater than 1 and are prime numbers, meaning that they only have two factors, namely 1 and the number itself. This form of factoring will demand a higher level of thinking, but if we go through the problem step by step, we will be able to effectively master this topic. We are given the quadratic polynomial 3x squared minus 10x plus 8. When we factor this, the two factors will be two binomials in the form blank x plus m times blank x plus n. After arriving at our two factors, if we multiplied them back out, the result would be our original quadratic, 3x squared minus 10x plus 8. So we need to figure out what our blanks are and our m and our n. Multiplying the first two terms of the factors, blank x times blank x, should give us 3x squared. Because 1 and 3 are the only two factors of 3, that means that 1 and 3 are the coefficients of the x's in the two factors. So 1x plus m times 3x plus n. 1x times 3x equals 3x squared. I see that we have figured out the x coefficients. How are we going to find m and n? The first thing we should do is multiply these factors out using the FOIL method. So when we do the FOIL method, we multiply the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. So we first multiplied the first terms together. 1x times 3x equals 3x squared. Then we multiply 1x times n to get xn. Then we multiply m times 3x to get 3mx. Then we multiply m and n, so we have mn. We put xn and 3mx in parentheses to show that they come together. We can factor x out of that to result in n plus 3m times x. Now the quadratic is 3x squared plus the quantity of n plus 3m times x plus mn. If we compare this to the original polynomial, we see that n plus 3m is the b coefficient, and mn is the c coefficient. In other words, n plus 3m equals negative 10, and mn equals 8. If we list integers m and n such that m times n equals 8, we can find which pair if substituted into n plus 3m will equal negative 10. This pair will be the m and n that will give us our true factors of the quadratic polynomial. So let's list these factors of positive 8. We'll start with m equals 1 and n equals 8, because 1 times 8 equals 8. If we substitute these into n plus 3m, the result is 8 plus 3 times 1 equals 11. So that does not work. If we try negative 1 and negative 8, and we substitute them in, the result will be negative 11. Now if we try 8 for m, and 1 for n, the result will be 25. If we try negative 8 for m and negative 1 for n, the result will be negative 25. So, so far none of these have worked. Now try 4 for m and 2 for n. We'll substitute those in and the result will be 14. If we try negative 4 for m, and negative 2 for n, the result will be negative 14. So that still does not work. We have another option. We could try 2 for m and 4 for n. If we substitute those in, the result will be positive 10. So that does not work. But if we try negative 2 for m and negative 4 for n, the result will be negative 10. And that's what we want. We want m plus 3m to equal negative 10 and m and n multiplied together to equal positive 8. So these are the values for m and n that we want. We have m equals negative 2 and n equals negative 4. So substitute these into x plus m and 3x plus n. Okay, so if I substitute them into this, I get x minus 2 times 3x minus 4. Are those the final factors? Check your answer by multiplying these two factors out. All right, I multiply the first terms to result in 3x squared, then the outer terms to find negative 4x, then the inner terms to find negative 6x, and then the last terms for a result of 8. 
After combining negative 4x with negative 6x, the result is 3x squared minus 10x plus 8. So that's right. So I broke up the leading coefficient of the quadratic polynomial into the factors 1 and 3, which became the x coefficients of the two factors. Then using m and n, we multiplied the two factors out to see that n plus 3m equals negative 10, and mn equals 8. By listing possible factors of 8 and substituting each into n plus 3m, we found two factors of 8 that worked in both expressions. This gave us our final factors. Great job! You have learned this topic very well.